Ladies and gentlemen, please join us in singing, O Canada. My name is Robert Thirsk, Chancellor of the University of Calgary. It's my pleasure to declare convocation officially convened. Please take your seats and rest comfortably. I take this opportunity to acknowledge the traditional territories of the Blackfoot and the people of the Treaty 7 region in southern Alberta, which includes the Siksika, the Pikani, the Geena, the Sutina, and the Stony Nakoda First Nations. The University of Calgary is situated on land adjacent to where the Bow River meets the Elbow River. The traditional Blackfoot name of this place is Mokinsis, which we now call the city of Calgary. The city of Calgary is also home to the Métis Nation of Alberta, Region 3. It's a pleasure to welcome today's graduates who sit before me along with family and friends to this morning's convocation ceremony. University President and Vice Chancellor Dr. Elizabeth Cannon and I are pleased to welcome honorary degree recipient Chief Victor Buffalo. Welcome Bonnie DuPont, Chair of the Board of Governors and Dr. Drew Marshall, Provost and Vice President Academic. <clears throat> welcome distinguished graduate Linda Dalgetty. Welcome members of our Board of Governors and Senate, University, Academia, Senior Administration, Students' Union, and Graduate Students' Association. A special welcome to the professors and staff of the Haskane School of Business and the Faculty of Graduate Studies. Thank you all for working so hard over the years to support our graduates. To family and friends, To family and friends, you're here celebrating with a mixture of pride, joy, and a shared sense of accomplishments. You've stood by your graduates over the course of their degrees, offering words of encouragement, a voice of reason, and the occasional shoulder to cry on. Thanks to each of you for the love and support you've given to our graduates. In fact, graduates, let's pause for a moment because what I just said is important. As you know, we're currently approaching the end of the Stanley Cup Finals. One of the greatest traditions of hockey is that immediately after putting the puck in the net, the scorer will turn to the player who got the assist and will point to them so that everyone in the arena knows who set up the goal. And this upholds the notion that hockey is a team sport. Well, post-secondary education is also a team sport. Graduates, do me a favor. Look around up in the bleachers, find your family and friends. I, in fact, I ask you all to stand up right now and show me, point, point to those people who assisted you to graduate today. Wave and cheer, scream, yell, make some noise, 
Show them that you are grateful. Thank you, graduates. Take your seat. Family and friends, we all so much support your encouragement to the, the, the students. It's just been tremendous. To our assembled graduates, congratulations. You are the University of Calgary's class of 2016. Woohoo! Two thousand and sixteen is a particularly special time to be graduating. As you know, our university in this year is celebrating a significant milestone. We just turned fifty years old. Our kickoff celebration was held a month ago, but we'll continue to celebrate throughout this year. And your graduation will forever and uniquely be part of that birthday pride and the buzz of excitement that we have here on campus. Now, I'm a reflective person. This University of Calgary milestone anniversary has caused me to think back on the dedicated people from this institution who played critical roles to shape my educational and career path. By the way, I graduated exactly 40 years ago uh, from here. It's also caused me to think back on the remarkable people who played pioneering roles to shape our young university and drive its success during our first 50 years. And I've also used this opportunity to reflect on where my world has taken me over the last half century. I was fortunate to have lived and worked during very interesting times. In my lifetime, I have seen the eradication of several diseases. I've seen an increase in the longevity of life, the end of apartheid and communism in many countries, large-scale data, voice, and video connectivity with people around the world. And in my lifetime, I have seen people walk on the moon. Pretty exciting stuff. I wonder what you will accomplish. What kind of world will your generation create? It is, of course, impossible to know the future, but it is fun to speculate. I predict that in the next 50 years, your generation will produce energy from fusion. I predict that you will build financial capability for all. We will see astronauts explore the surface of Mars, and we will discover life elsewhere in our galaxy. Even more exciting stuff. There remain some grand societal challenges that my generation addressed, but that still await a solution. Finding a cure for cancer, moving the world toward a low carbon future, addressing social inequality, crime, and ethnic te tension. What do you consider to be the grandest challenge for the next 50 years? Reflect on what you want the next half century to look like, and then get engaged. In fact, make a career out of it. Make a career out of solving an important national or global problem. Devote yourself to moving the yardsticks, to creating the change that you wish to see. Now that would be a very fulfilling use of your University of Calgary degree. Throughout my astronaut career, I always felt that I was part of something that was more than a nine to five job, something that was more than a paycheck, something that was important on a global scale. As I approached the end of my career, I feel that I did make a difference, a difference in space exploration, innovation, and medicine, that I enhanced the education of our next generation. I wish the same for you. At the University of Calgary, you have spent time considering what you're good at, reflecting on those things in life that you most enjoy. I now recommend that you use your cutting edge skills as well as the ideas and perspectives that you've acquired at the University of Calgary to pursue a career that will add value to society, that will make our world a better place. Heads up. No grand challenge was ever overcome without a solid educational foundation, hard work, and sacrifice. Be assured, however, that the rich education that you've acquired at the University of Calgary, as well as the tenacity, energy, and optimism that characterize the personalities of all dinos, has well prepared you to surmount whatever ambitious goal you take on. 
Use every bit of knowledge, every bit of skill, every bit of experience and character you've gained at the University of Calgary to shape a better future for you, your families, your community, and the world. I'll close by saying that what happens next in your life matters to us. We'll watch with pride as you make your mark in the world, and as alumni, you will always remain part of the University of Calgary family. We wish you continued success and happiness. I now invite President and Vice Chancellor Dr. Elizabeth Cannon to come forward to address convocation. Thank you, Chancellor Thirsk. I'd like to welcome our many distinguished guests who are here today, our honorary degree recipient, Chief Victor Buffalo, our distinguished graduate, Linda Dalgetty, members of our Board of Governors, Senate and senior leadership team, our faculty, staff, alumni, friends and family members. Good morning to all of you and welcome to the University of Calgary for this very special occasion. I would like to particularly welcome and congratulate our graduates. Today marks a very important milestone in your lives. I would also like to take this opportunity to recognize a member of our platform party who is coming to the end of her term as chair of our Board of Governors. And that, of course, is Bonnie DuPont. Bonnie, could I ask that you please stand and be recognized? <laughs> Bonnie is a graduate of the University of Calgary. She has been a longtime volunteer, particularly in the Haskane School of Business, but for the last 10 years has been a member of our university's Board of Governors and for the last three years as chair of our Board of Governors. Again, thank you for all of your contributions, Bonnie. Thank you so much. Graduates, you have grown tremendously over the last of the course of your studies. The trials and triumphs of the last several years have led to incredible steps forward as you've grown intellectually, professionally, and personally. Today is a celebration of that growth and development. It is a defining moment, the beginning of an exciting time filled with new challenges and endless possibilities. Your years of rigorous study have given you the knowledge and confidence to face any challenges head on, and I know that you'll seize the many opportunities ahead with the same grit and gumption that have brought you here today. That's because there has never been a generation of more entrepreneurial thinkers determined to change the world by following your passions and making your dreams a reality. And as an academic institution defined by growth, ambition, and an upstart attitude, we're extremely proud to have students who embody the very spirit of our university. And we're not the only ones who feel pride today. Your family, friends, and communities are all very proud of your hard work, your dedication, and the promise that you hold for the future. I am joined on stage today by those who have achieved excellence in academic and community leadership. They are passionate about the quality of our higher education and are dedicated to the success of our students. Please join me in thanking them, our faculty and staff, our members of the board and senate, chancellors past and present. Could I please ask those on the stage to stand and allow us to thank you for your unwavering commitment to our students and to our university. Thank you. Thank you. With each convocation, there are certain things that remain the same year after year. The palpable excitement, the pride of accomplishment, the sense of possibility. And yet, every convocation is a once in a lifetime experience. As president and as alumnus of this institution, there is no greater honor than presiding over this tradition. 
Each year, we have graduands who inspire us with their scholastic achievements, their community engagement, and their determination to make a difference. I would like to take this opportunity to highlight two such stories from this graduating class. The first is a group of students. These are Alex Walkley, Andrea Mamcher, Rishab Ganji, Ram Inder Singh Kohli, and Kendra Skirfield. They represented the Haskane School of Business at the Molson Cup, the annual MBA case competition held at Concordia University. It's very prestigious, considered world class, and the top competition in Canada. They placed third, which is a tremendous accomplishment in its own right. But where they shone, thank you, where they shone was in the live case. They had to do some work for a company called Beauty To Go, and they did such an excellent job. The team netted an all expense paid trip to Spain and Holland to present to the company's executive team. That was a tremendous accomplishment, followed up by Kendra Skirfield being invited back, and she may actually, as a next step in her career, work for one of those companies taking on a leadership role in Europe. Fantastic and congratulations to all of those students. Our second graduate is Alexandra Halashak, a Masters of Business Administration student who used her marketing skills to help one of North America's best known charitable organizations. Her work with United Way identified new strategic ways to connect with corporations to create alternative funding ideas, earning her valuable experience in consulting. She undertook a number of demanding roles outside her rigorous studies, serving as president of the Haskane Business Society and mentoring to two undergraduate business students. Her standout leadership skills earned her a position on BMO's Millennial Leaders Advisory Council on inclusion to advance opportunities for women in the workplace. Congratulations, Alexandra. <clears throat> As the Chancellor mentioned, this is a very special year for the University of Calgary. On April 29th, we celebrated our 50th anniversary as an autonomous institution. In 1966, we were a small university on the prairie. With just 4,000 students, we held strong in our ambitious dreams to evolve into an internationally recognized university at the forefront of learning, research, and discovery. In just 50 years, we've become the institution that was envisioned decades ago, a global intellectual hub, a leader in research and innovation, and the home to more than 31,000 students, the best and the brightest, as well as award-winning faculty and staff. In recent years, we've redoubled our efforts to reach even greater heights. Our Eyes High vision has yielded impressive results, propelling us to the top of the list of young universities in North America and securing our place in the top six research universities in Canada. During this time, our campus has gone, undergone a complete transformation from humble beginnings to we have grown into five modern campuses, including one in Doha, Qatar. Today, our faculty and students are engaged in groundbreaking research, distinguishing themselves through their scholarship and achieving real-world solutions to complex challenges in a variety of fields. And just last week, we hosted over 8,000 scholars from across our country and around the world as part of the 2016 Congress of the Humanities and Social Sciences, the largest academic forum in Canada, also known as the Academic Olympics. But through all of this, we remain a caring community. We have, over the last many weeks, been the home of more than 1,400 of the evacuees from Fort McMurray. In fact, we have over 1,000 still on our campus today. 
And of those 1,400, 400 have been children enrolled in local schools. Our faculty and staff and students across all of the campus have reached out to make sure these families feel at home, that they are taken care of, and that we ensure that their well-being in this very difficult time is being addressed and supported. I will say that we have been the largest evacuation site in the province of Alberta due to the quality of care that we've been able to provide. We are now looking forward to the next 50 years. We will spend our anniversary year refreshing our eyes high vision as well as we recently launched Energize, the campaign for Eyes High. It's an ambitious $1.3 billion fundraising campaign that we will utilize to meet our Eyes High goals, ensure that our student experience is the best, that we continue to be able to attract the best and the brightest faculty and students from around the world, that we create facilities that build an environment for success in teaching, learning, and research, and that we continue to engage our communities near and far. Through the generosity of our alumni and our community leaders, we have raised over $715 million to date. So looking ahead to the next 50 years, the University of Calgary will continue to spark discovery, drive innovation, and shape the leaders of tomorrow. So graduands, on this momentous day in your lives, please take the opportunity to reflect on your university experience and celebrate all that you have achieved. Remember that you are part of a strong alumni community now of more than 163,000 members in 152 countries. Your University of Calgary family will always be there to support you. The future is yours to choose and ultimately to create for yourself. So on behalf of all of us at the University of Calgary, congratulations and best wishes, and please keep your eyes high. Thank you so much. I would now like to introduce Aretha Van Herk, our university orator, who will deliver the citation for our honorary degree recipient. Victor Stanley Buffalo, please stand. Eminent Chancellor, Madam President, members of the Senate and the Board of Governors, Honoured guests, fellow faculty, and graduates. Chief Victor Stanley Buffalo carries the name of the West's iconic animal, the bison. He proudly embodies its power and history. A leader, an entrepreneur, and a pioneer, he has led the way in helping First Nation businesses across Canada to prosper. He was instrumental in founding the Peace Hills Trust Company, Canada's first and largest Aboriginal-owned national financial institution. The obstacles he faced from skeptics who did not believe that Indigenous people could operate a bank were many, but he persevered and it is now an established, well-respected institution. Born in Samson Cree Nation, Masquachis, Alberta, at seven, Victor Buffalo was sent to residential school. There, Isolated from the love and support of his family, he took refuge in reading and learning. Within that harsh system, he developed his own character and independence, and he turned that early experience into a determination and direction that has carried him throughout his life. 
a wise and powerful leader, he was chief of the Samson Cree Nation for five terms of office, serving on various boards of directors, regulatory and energy assets governs, governance. Determined to encourage training and employment, he has worked to ensure involvement and most of all, to promote sustainable economic ventures of benefit to his people. He spearheaded a landmark breach of trust lawsuit against Canada, enabling the Samson Cree to gain control of their own oil and gas revenues, previously administered by the federal government. An adamant supporter of education, he fought to ensure that the Samson Reserve got its own schools and administers its own educational programming. The Samson Education Trust Fund supports members in completing college, university, and trades training. He has promoted the interests of indigenous people in many fields, education, healthcare, law, economic development, and treaty rights. He has worked for the preservation of Cree language and culture, and he was at the forefront of legal affirmation of the rights of the Aboriginal peoples of Canada in the Constitution Act. There is a gentle kindness to Chief Victor Buffalo's face. He has seen sadness and he has seen joy. He carries the stories of the past, he knows and practices tradition, and he moves that powerful tradition forward into the future. Eminent Chancellor, let us acknowledge one of Canada's great leaders, a champion for education and justice, a model of independence and vision, a man who, like the buffalo who once roamed these beautiful prairies, encompasses great spiritual strength and welfare. On behalf of the Senate and the University, I invite you to invest Chief Victor Buffalo with the degree Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa. I admit you, Chief Victor Buffalo, to the degree Doctor of Laws on Eris Causa and grant you all the rights and privileges, powers and responsibilities pertaining to this degree. Congratulations. Thank you. Dance Nanasko Mao Mama Yo Tai Mao and Otska Giskak Kasoem Wanoka Kyo. Good morning, Eminent Chancellor Robert Tursk, Madam President and Vice Chancellor Elizabeth Cannon, honored guests, family. Friends, and most importantly, the graduates, I congratulate you. I sat here up in the stands a couple of years ago, Dr. Marie Delorme, and I was sitting over there and he said, gee, I wish I was down there. <laughs> I'm here today, I'm very nervous. <laughs> I am very honored and humbled by this award, and I want to start by thanking the Senate of the University of Calgary for recognizing me this way. But even more, I want to thank and congratulate the 
16 University of Calgary graduates on their hard work and in their achievements of their goal. I didn't have to study or work hard and just be nervous, I guess. Thank you very much. <laughs> to all the graduates, today marks an important day in your lives. Entering into this institution facing intense competition, you pursued your academic work with great dedication. You can recall that your mission for higher learning began here with great passion, but know for sure that it will not end here. <clears throat> you will uh, feel confident of meeting uncertainties and challenges of life, dealing with successes and failures with a positive attitude. <coughs> Excuse me. As you know, learning is a continuous process. We should grave for learning. <coughs> I'm telling you, I'm nervous. <coughs> we should grave for learning with the application of our knowledge for the uplifting of the poor, marginalized, for the betterment of our society as a whole. Your graduation today confirms your understanding and application for the value of education, the relationships and friendships you have made here will be enjoyed throughout the years. In the words of a great modern day philosopher, Yogi Berra, when you come to the fork, take it. You have taken that fork because risks comes with great rewards. It opens up new challenges and opportunities. It em empowers you to establish new limits in your mind. You will become leaders in your profession. You will soon become responsible to lead, manage, and operate large and important businesses and organizations. When I speak of leadership, I mean a process where an individual influences other people, groups, and organizations. Leadership is about taking one step, just one step forward, and you're already ahead of everybody. In order to lead, you must have a solid foundation and disciplined approach. As educated people, you understand this. To build a structure of any kind, you require stout, strong foundation. In our culture, we have the medicine wheel, the four quadrants, spirituality, the physical, the emotional, and the mental. And to me, the most important one is the spirituality. The chancellor outlined his vision for the future. All the things that is gonna happen, and I agree with that. Being a survivor of cancer, I'm looking towards to that day when they find a cure for it. But you're at a stage where everything is so modern, you learn, the computer just did a lot of wonderful things for us. Never forget the values, the, the traditional values that we all grew up with. Never ever forget those, because you, those are the things that are gonna carry you when you get out in the world. You know, your wealth, your recognition, all those things do not matter if you lose your spirituality. So that's the caution I gave to you. That is why leadership is often found in simple acts of self-expression. When we challenge the status quo, when we call injustice by its name, when we hold out a hand to help another, 
and when we choose a path that is less about making money and more about making a difference. My educational background may be a lot different from yours. I was born on the Samson Cree Indian Reserve, which is six, 70 miles south of Edmonton. And at the age of seven, I was taken from my parents by the federal government to attend a native residential school until I was about 18. Just the recent uh, Commission on the Truth and Reconciliation, I never participated in it, but I was there all the time. I was at the residential school. Most of the st students used to go home during the holidays, but I stayed. I grew up institutionalized. Although the, I was only a few miles away from home, it was worlds away from my Greek culture and a loving family. Despite the negative impact of the experience, I did somehow learn the importance of education, discipline, goal setting, and risk taking. To me, the uh, most important ones you know, as I grew older is setting your goals. Set your goals, whatever you're going to do, set them down, write them down. And leadership, that is what you're going to learn from this institution, is leadership. And you're going to be leaders of this country and the world. And you know about discipline, coming to school, doing the hard work, and you just carry that through your, through your life. Discipline, discipline. During my many years as chief, I did everything I could to encourage my people to pursue their dreams for their education, particularly at the post-secondary level. I take great pride in knowing that my nation has now has its own teachers, business managers, administrators, nurses, lawyers, and many other professions. My daughter is here, she's a teacher. Proud of her. <laughs> and most of those people that have gone on to university I have graduates from this fine institution. I'm really, really happy about that. Our, our past chief has two degrees from the University of Calgary. And while you may use your education to create wealth for you and your organization, you work for, I believe you are also have duty bound to strive for the betterment of society, to reduce poverty, to reduce poverty in our country, and to empower those who are disadvantaged, including the indigenous people of this country. Remember the noble values of caring and sharing, of service, and sacrifice that has kept our country vibrant and admired around the world. May the Creator grant you wisdom, understanding, true sense of fulfillment. May the Creator bless this institution, the University of Calgary, and each and every one of you as you head out today into your new world. Thank you. Hi, hi. <clears throat> Dr. Buffalo, uh, thank you for accepting this honorary degree from us. It's actually a great honor for us, uh, the University of Calgary, to, to confer it on you. You are a role model as an entrepreneur and as a leader at the forefront of institutional building for First Nations. You're an inspiration to our graduates, to our faculty, uh, for your ability to advance the uh, interests of all Aboriginal people. Thank you very much. On behalf of the faculties of the university, I present these graduates and those 
listed in the convocation program who are unable to be at the ceremony this morning. I ask that they be pledged and admitted to the University of Calgary degrees that they have earned. As a graduate of this university, you join a worldwide kinship of educated persons who have earned opportunities and responsibilities of leadership and service in their chosen communities. To recognize this affinity, we invite each graduate to stand and join with the thousands who've gone before in making the University of Calgary graduates pledge. The pledge is not an oath, but is a solemn expression of your intention to apply your learning and experience positively for the widest benefit. I invite all past graduates of the University of Calgary to also stand and support these newest alumni in affirming the graduates' obligations and ideals. Could I ask all past graduates to also stand, please? And I will say it's wonderful to see so many of our graduates here today. It is now my pleasure to introduce our distinguished graduate who will lead the graduate pledge. Linda Dalgetty received a Bachelor of Commerce in 1987 from the Haskane School of Business. She is our University of Calgary Vice President of Finance and Services. She is a proud alumna with more than 20 years experience in North American and international business and finance. She joined the University of Calgary executive team two years ago. Linda has been an active volunteer in communities near and far, volunteering as a shelter coordinator for In From the Cold in Calgary, assisting in the construction of a rehabilitation and outreach center in Sierra Leone, and helping impoverished children in rural Peru. Peru. Let's welcome Linda to uh, lead us in the Graduate Pledge. Graduands, I will now lead you in the graduate pledge on the inside back cover of your program. Please follow along and also read aloud. When we finish, you will all say along with me, this is my pledge. As a graduate of the University of Calgary, wherever my life may take me, I will use my knowledge, experience and skills to the best of my ability for the well-being of my communities and for the advancement of learning and the public good. I will conduct myself with honesty and integrity, taking responsibility for my actions and respecting the rights, opinions and dignity of all peoples. I will maintain my competency and keep abreast of developments in my chosen fields. I will strive to better my communities through good citizenship and active participation. I will be a loyal ambassador for my university and will seek to promote its welfare and maintain its reputation. I will honor all who have shared their knowledge with me and will, in my turn, share my knowledge and experience with those who enter my field or come under my direction. In all my dealings, I will endeavor to be known as a person of honor and repute ever seeking to earn the peace of good conscience. This is my pledge. By the authority of the Statutes of Alberta and upon the recommendation of our faculties, I admit you to the University of Calgary degrees you have earned and grant you the rights and privileges, powers and responsibilities pertaining to those degrees. Congratulations. <laughs> Eminent Chancellor, graduates, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Lisa Young, I'm the Dean of Graduate Studies. Today, it's my great pleasure to join with my colleague, the Dean of the Haskane School of Business, in congratulating those graduates receiving graduate degrees today. We will be awarding a Doctor of Philosophy, recognizing a significant con in, uh, original contribution to knowledge, we will be awarding Masters of Business Administration for those individuals who are poised to become leaders in the business world.
We will also be awarding a Master's of Science in Sustainable Energy Development, recognizing individuals who are poised to become leaders in a field that's very important to the province of Alberta and the planet. Eminent Chancellor, by authority of the Council of the Faculty of Graduate Studies, we have the honor to present the following graduates. Awarded the Doctor of Philosophy in Management, Shahid Ali Khan. Awarded the Master of Business Administration, Jason Colby Abugush. Timothy Paul Antosh. Anuj Arora. Amir Asani. Adnan Basharat. Jeffrey David Blacklock. Jeffrey Alfred Borgman. Rostislav Borak. Michelle Darlene Braun. <laughs> Stephanie Carol Buchan. Colin James Carter. Sarah, sorry, Barbara Charleston Hall. Tej Preet Singh Chawla. Lorenzo Ray Chirastella. Matthew Clayton Coffey. Lorraine A. Craig. Joyce Twee. Zahid Davari. Richard Ryan Escobar de la Cruz. Ryan Finley Dennis. <laughs> Hannah Donardo. Keegan Scott Donahue, Amanda Megan Dunlop, Nikki Danielle Edwards, Adil Hassan El Shanawi, Anki Feng, Renee Jose Francis. Lauren Grace Frost. Hélène Gagnon. Rashub Gandhi. Chidozi Felix Akubundu. Alexander Kerchenko. Juliet Gonzalez Peludu. Mankaran Singh Goraya. Derek Gorgachuk. Christopher Graham. Sarub Gupta. Michael Roland Hack. Alexandra Gail Holischuk. Christopher Ian Hamill. Patrick Alexander Hardy. Robert Richard Herodens. Salima Hasmani. Lindsay Hogan. Yunli Ho. Sarah Howe. Daniela Ikarusi. Parang Jodat. Garrett Trent Jubinville. Ramanpreet Singh Kabarwal. Natika Kapoor. Abhinav Krishnan Khanna. Ram Inder Singh Kohli. Vineet Kumar. 
Zhong Xin Li. Chen Liu. Brett Lavar. Ryu Liu. Julie Chitsum Mack. Andrea Pamela Mamchur. Stephen Lionel Mark. Swapna Matthew. Ian McDermott. Ronald Lee Minx. Charlene Monique Minivier. Ryan John Moore. Manko Mu. Natalie Ellen Murray. Manpreet Singh Naranya. Andrew Otu Narti. Gregor Douglas Nielsen. James D. Newsom. Denise Michelle Nagora. Chehun Nursen. Kyle O'Reilly. Ashfaq Omar. Vikas Rao Panuganti. Pratik Haribash Patel. Ayu Biwanu Peters. Dan Brian Piche. Vishnu Priya Ramish. Joshua Kyle Robertson. Yashasvi Sergendi. Christopher O'Brien Saunders. Christian David Shocker. Taylor Luke Schmidt. Kendra Sonia Skirfield. Lisa Kristen Shane. Farzad Shojahi. Ahmed Schumann. Shashank Sin. Tiana, or sorry, Tiani Song. Chris Soteropoulos. Omar Tamishchik. Justin Ho Sum Tang. Mary Tang. Tyler Joseph Tarnochi. Sky Gabriel Emmanuel Tetro Crosby. Tessa Lee Thompson Major. Samia Sohab Siddiqui. David Say. Jose Javier Velasquez Duran. Konstantin Voloshenko. Alexander Lewis Walke. Corey James Waller. David Kenneth Watson. Carson William Whitus. Richard James Yashishen. Awarded a combined degree with the Juris Doctor, Christopher Ka Yin Yan. Phi Zhang Yang. Nelson Miles Yarmole. Michelle Joan Yi. Catherine Elizabeth Young. Jane Shi Zhang. Awarded the Master of Science in Sustainable Energy Development, Stephen Gregory Cole. Christina Joy Derrick. Taraj Mule. Eminent Chancellor, President Cannon, Chair DuPont, Dr. Buffalo, honored guests, 
graduates, family, and friends. My name is Jim DeWald. I'm very proud to be the Dean of the Haskins School of Business. And I'm going to speak mostly to the friends and family. You know, people often wonder why does somebody take a business degree? Why do they go into the, into the School of Business? Well, in my first year as Dean, I thought I should ask the students that, the incoming students. So I did, I surveyed them. And much in line with Chancellor Thirst's comments and Dr. Buffalo's comments, what I found, and I find this startling, 83% of our first year students entered because they want to make a difference in the world. Isn't that awesome? And I'm so proud of the hard work and the efforts made by these graduates to gain the skills and knowledge to do just that, to go out and make the world a better place by employing their skills in entrepreneurship, leadership, human resource management, finance, accounting, supply chain management, marketing, business technology, and corporate strategy. These graduates will add value to our economy. They will provide job opportunities for thousands, possibly millions of people giving dignity to many and opportunities for unprecedented growth and opportunity. We tend to make to take many things for granted, but consider this, that every chair you sit on, every building that we go into, every meal we eat, every dress, every shoe we wear, the cars we drive, our phones, every step of every day in our lives, we rely on business graduates to bring those ideas from concept into your hands so that they can make our lives a better place. When I think about our changing future, and I'm very moved by the, uh, by the comments by the Chancellor Thirsk, truly we know that this group of fine graduates are destined to make our world a better place. Eminent Chancellor, by the authority of the Council of the Haskane School of Business, my colleagues and I have the honor to present the following graduates. Receiving the degree, Bachelor of Commerce, Iris Valerie Aben. Bradley James Abel, also receiving a degree in a Bachelor of Com Science in Computer Science. Connor James Ablett. Elias Abraha. Avide Abiyena. Tyler Adamets. Stephen Adcock. Rebecca Sophia Aguilera Maestre. Syed Saad Ahmad. Sarah Ahmed. Alexandra Elizabeth Aitken. Hassanain Albender. Connor Bernard Anderson, also receiving a Bachelor of Science in Computer Science. Parker Thomas Anderson. Stephanie D. Antel. Minella Antonio. Pauline Hannah Annunciacion. Jonah Ardeal. Nicole Alexandria Arnold. Natika Ball. Adrian Clark Gutierrez be allowing. Nathan Wilson Bancroft, also receiving a Bachelor of Arts in Economics. Amy Kathleen Bartell, with distinction. Samantha Joanne Bartell. Brett Edward Beach. Colin Lane Bichard. Nathan Timothy Behan Fossey. Anthony Below. 
Dallin Michael Bella Gloka. Natalie Lauren Benjamin with distinction. Jeffrey Robert Bennett with distinction. Marissa Annalise Berzowski. Julie Barrington. Ian Stewart Bestwick with distinction. Jace Arthur John Beaver. Julie Darlene Beaver. Rebecca Maribel Valerian. Kendra Marie Billington. Brendan Walter Bohm. Laurel Elizabeth Bonsar. Samantha Boyce. Adam Nicholas Boyce with distinction. Jana Marie Boyko, also receiving a Bachelor of, Con a Bachelor of Arts in Psychology, both with distinction. Corey Ray Bremer. Shannon Marie Brown. Annalise Ray Brownell. Amy Christine Bruce, with distinction. Stephen James Brumwell. Chandra Don Bruval. Dan Trung Bui. Patrick Luke Bullen. Valerie Nicole Burns. Brittany Lauren Campbell, also receiving a Bachelor of Arts in Psychology. Callie Carlson. Jeffrey Peter Carter. Amy Michelle Castengay, also receiving a Bachelor of Kinesiology, both with distinction. Layla Cha. Justinder Singh Chahal. Alex Jill Chan. Jeffrey Chan. Stephanie Winnie Chan, with distinction. Brian Edward Chow. Yu Tong Chen. Yu Kun Chen. Kevin Cheng. Anthony Kai Young Chung, also receiving a Bachelor of Arts in Economics. Jesse Leon Chung. Sun Ching Chung. Dylan James Cheyenne. Shubham Chabra, also receiving a Bachelor of Arts in Economics. Jasmine Mukesh Chitodra, also receiving a Bachelor of Arts in Political Science, both with distinction. Osman Chu, also receiving a Bachelor of Music in Performance. Jenny Cho. Nathan Choi. Usman Chowdhury. Sadia Choudhury. William Chu. William Hawang Chung. Sonia Erica Chung. Brian Chong. Amber Dawn Colapalo. Troy Remington Cooper. Michelle Nicole Creighton, with distinction. Francis Win Young Kong. Denise Da Costa. Addy Dagger, also receiving a Bachelor of Arts in Economics. Patrick Hu Kui Dang. Sophia Doyen Dang. Adrian Davidson, with distinction. Valerie Amy Dayrit. 
Jordan William DeMar. Connie Deng, also receiving a Bachelor of Arts in Psychology. Simran Bakhtawar Dharani. Laura May Dixon, with distinction. Dat Do Nguyen. Jasmine Tom Down. Robert Andrew Dumba, with distinction. Bowman Duncan. Angela Dong. Rochelle Honey Tan D, with distinction. Amna El Gohari, also receiving a Bachelor of Arts in Psychology. Hibak Farah. Ashley Elaine Fiddick, with distinction. Tanner Richard Firth, with distinction. Michael Daniel Fontanilla. Leandra Frawlin. Mark Brian Freeman, with distinction. Simon Grant Fu, with distinction. Megan Anita Galbraith. Matthew Brendan Geib. Lindsay Emma Gelsinger. Aliza Ageliki Georgopoulos. Conrad Austin Gibbs, with distinction. Philip Gigich. Grace Patricia Gillowitz, with distinction. Laura May Gillowitz. Mariam Gora. Jonathan Gonzalez Salazar. Justin David Goodmanson. Gregory Alexander Gordon. Brandon Gao. Jared Burton Gracher. Alexander Nicholas Gray. Richard Ha. Hussein Haji Ahmad. Amin Haji. Daniel Hall, also receiving a Bachelor of Arts in Economics with distinction. Kelsey Lauren Hamill, with distinction. Benson Robert Hammond. Jasleen Kaur Hansvall, with distinction. Arthur Andre Hadigan. Ryan Alexander Hawk. Matthew David Hahn, with distinction. James Y. Ho He. Yao Hao He. Martin He. Nui Hechanova. Arjun Heed. Riley Adam Henderson. Zenon John Harasimiak. Colin Andrew Hicks. Rachel Aaron Himmelfarb. Rebecca Ann Histed, with distinction. Darren Ming Chung Ho. Wing Tung Ho. Kevin Toi Hong. Keith Robert Hoffman. Jared Jack Holmes. Alden Hong Q Hui. Ho Yin Hui. 
Zachary Dylan Priestman. Courtney Helen Hunt. Eminent Chancellor, I wish to announce that a Bachelor of Commerce degree is being awarded posthumously to Joshua Hunter, and Michaela Hunter is with us today to accept the degree. Moon Young Her. Cindy Jean Huynh. Tamiz A. Ibrahim. Ramon Bonaventura Ignacio III. Andrew William Ip. Nicole Lynn Ireland. Armand Ismail. Femina Iwabukachi. Ale Sha Tegan. Lindsay Victoria Jones. Joshua Miles Johnson. Stephanie Sergeva Dracova with distinction. Peter Kachan. <laughs> Vanessa Leanne Castacalo. Shaken Babar Khan. Hannibal Kidane. Randy Kalaraki. Natasha Marie Krojak. Nikita Lalani. Chi Lam. Kylie Lam. Philippe Raymond La Rochelle. Nicole Danielle Latter. Czech Ling Lao with distinction. Jessica Tingting Lau. Portia Lau. Melissa Lee. Sandy Lee. Anita Wing Yan Lee. Emmy Lee. Kara Nicole Lee. Mark So Ho Lee, also receiving Bachelor of Arts, also receiving ba uh, Bachelor of Commerce with distinction. Ray Lee. Thomas Lee. Sarah Emile Leger. Jonathan Eric Long. 
also receiving a Bachelor of Arts in Economics. Nolan Andrew Lung. C. Wing Christine Leung with distinction. Richard Lim. Carol Lin. Hui Min Lin. Bjorn Lin. Stephanie Ling with distinction. Thomas Robert Link. Loglin Douglas Little. Jason Lowe with distinction. Austin Lowe. Wesley Ching Young Loke. Alexandra Lopez. Meredith Chelsea Lord. Isabel Louis. Connor James Lotnick. Michelle Liu. Matthew Louis. Kirsty Michelle Lush. Ying Ha Liu. Jeffrey T. Lee with distinction. Stephanie Jing Lee with distinction. May Lee Tran. Kamala Krista Leons. Juan Mock. Rachel Ann Machin. Jordan Robert Mack. Jonathan David Ma. Patricia Ma. Megan Nicole Malini. Tajinder Malai. Chloe Noel Mann. Angel Fresnito Megaron. Shamiz Manji. Jaquing Mao. Matthew Joseph Marshall with distinction. Shannon Dorothea Marshall. Alexander Nathan Mazaroski. Akil Nath Mathur. William Bottenbell Nauschel. Cheyenne Danielle McGinnis. Janess Ann McGrath with distinction. Catherine Victoria McCowan with distinction. Devin Darcy McNamara. Heath Allen Driscoll. Connor Daniel Megger. Nimra Mahmood. Natasha Morali. Haley Roberta Mercer. Naria Alejandra Miranda Turingo. Nice Eric Donald Mitchell. Okay. Natasha Ann Mazera. Arsheng Mo. J. Leonard Brown Moak. Nice Travis Alexander Moon. Ryan Randall Moore with distinction. 
Glenn Thomas Morrison. Dylan Terrence Morrow, with distinction. Kaylin Moyna. Wasim Ali Mustafa. Jay Mutak. Munar Naras. Tamara Nazrat. Michael James Nassif. Riddhi Nadvani. Manat Kaur Nat with distinction. Marian Sabi Nazar. Curtis Timothy Nestor. Yudang Hong Nguyen. Xiaoxin Ni. Cody Scott Nicole with distinction. Victoria Claire Nieto. Alia Nurani. Garrett Parker Oglevy. Ofi Olum Tumi Oi Kali. Lisa Olarte. Gary Allen David Oman. Mitchell John Orr. Nojisola Otenbegola. Sarah Jane Pagariangan Pagaling. Kevin C. Him Pang. Alice Catherine Paplowski. David Seikwing Park. Haley Nicole Passe, with distinction. Kapesh Patel. Marcella Sandra Paplowski. Britta Drew Peterson. Jamie Ann Pregnow. Alexander Charles Prasik. Adriana Ida Penicholi. Ninak Pham. Anna Mar Maria Piedradita. Ma Rikar Olan Osho Pinin. Shelby Liana Postaway. Priyanka Payal Prasog. Chow Quan Watch. Where do I go? Einar Rakhmatova. Medina Ramji, with distinction. Suraj Randhawa. Eben Duick Resor. Luisa Fernanda Reyes. Joshua G. Young Rim. Jeremy Ernesto Rizzo. Carly Grace Roberge. Spencer Francis Rose. Jessica Mary Roseboom. Kelsey Lee Rotman. Karina Danielle Rowell. Brady Mitchell Roy. Ziad Saba. Woo! 
Sadaf Safdari. Maria Manuela Salazar Riofrio, with distinction. Lori Nicole Sand. Jasleen Kaur Sare. Caitlin Ashley Sardina, with distinction. Emily Ann Sagis, with distinction. Andrew, uh, and, Andre Savu, also graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Computer Science. Shafir Reginald Sawilla, with distinction. Mark James Gaiman. Janessa Ruth Schuster. Alois Suquera, Su yes. <laughs> Akesh Shah, Ahmed Sharir, Corey James Shimbashi, Jordan Alexandria Sickle, Lovejot Singh, Ruveen Singh. Ashita Singla, Nolan Reed Single, with distinction, Anand Sisodia, Brody Andrew Smith, Cole Mackenzie Smith, Julie Michelle Smith. Sean William Alexander Smool, Colin Snyder, Kirby Colin Soko, Katerina Nicole Sorensen, Melissa Carice Sutar, with distinction, Scott Patrick Southwood, with distinction. Renard Henrik Jan Sta. Kurt Wesley Stangle. Brianne Whitney Stelling. Connor J. Stilly. Sean Colin Straw. Chelsea Margaret Stringer. Andrew John Strong, also graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in East Asian Language Studies. Subi Subramani. Sydney Marie Safran. Yuran Sun, with distinction. Robin Erica Sutherland. Anushka Swartz. Roman Marco Swayotilo. Ryan Cody Tam. Jessica Tang. Wen Li Tang. Alec Damada Tashiro. Allison Mary Taylor. Stephen T. Brittany Texera. Aaron Kathleen Templeton. Connor Arthur Thompson. Stephanie Ann Thompson with distinction. Christine Amanda True, Truey with distinction. Roman Tomechuk. Danielle Elizabeth Torrey. Donna Tran. Christy Yimi Tran. 
Erica Jane Trin. Christopher Colin True. Riley Brian Constantine Truman. Elizabeth Tin K. Tsung. With distinction. Jenny Tu. Mickey Tu. Karandeep Kaur Ubi. Amy Ueda. Dalton Ann Umbach. Matthew John Vasilil. Nisha Jasmine Volux. Carissa Ann Vanderpool. Matthew David Valletta. Andrew David Walker. Ashton George Walker. Catherine Elizabeth Watson, with distinction. Katrina Dawn Weber, with distinction. Maria Andreevna Wells, with distinction. Danielle, Daniel Jean Wesley. Kayla Marie Whitehead, with distinction. Colin Jeffrey Weave. Brandon John Williams. Sarah Jane Williams. Jane Alexandra Wishart. Justin David Witherspoon. Alex Wong. Amelia Wong. Antonia Tiffany Wong, with distinction. Justin Thomas Wong. Kevin Scott Wong. Jeremy Corbin Wu. Kevin Wilson Wu. Ri Han Wu. Jessica Johnny Wu Li. Alexander Charles Witzke. Amy Shaw. Dan Hui Zhu. Fan Zhu. Michael Jale Yang. Si Yu Yao. Nicola Kiton Yi, with distinctions. Wing Lam Yung. Casey Calvin Yuan. Stephanie Wanda Zarnowski, with distinction. Yong Jin Zhang, also graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in Economics. Thomas Dean Zhao. Cheng Kun Zhang. Robert Alexander Zulao. Stephanie Yan Zvankovic. For the degree Bachelor of Hotel and Resort Management, Michelle Lisa Bodhi. Alice Kuei Wa Chan. Mi Hyun Gil. Stephanie Zhe Wa Lam. John Pham. Nicole Ann Wagner. Daniel Christopher Wiring. Yu Yang Zhu, or Joe, sorry. <laughs> That's it.
Eminent Chancellor, this concludes the graduates for the faculty or the Haskane School of Business for 2016. Thank you. Graduates, we recognize your years of hard work and commitment to your studies, but also to your extracurricular activities. You've worked hard, and we are so very proud of all that you've accomplished. Congratulations, all. This ceremony is first and foremost a celebration of your success and deservedly so for your a very impressive group of graduates. We're now at the point in the ceremony where we select from all the graduates a special few for special recognition, those who are awarded medals at this ceremony. And at this particular ceremony, we are recognizing 11 medalists who are in attendance today. The details of the medals we're awarding and the names of those people who are winning uh, are on page 69 and 70 of your program. Madam President, Eminent Chancellor, Board Chair DuPont, it is my honor to present to you, the Platform Party graduates and everybody assembled here today, the following medal winners. The winner of the Haskane School of Business Gold Medal and the FEI Silver Medal in Finance is Matthew Marshall. <laughs> Matthew entered the Haskane BCom Finance Program in the fall of 2012 from high school and he is graduating today with distinction. In his final year, he achieved a perfect 4.0 GPA, an overall GPA of 3.93, and 17 A pluses in his career. Matthew has won many prestigious scholarships and awards during his time here, and he has made the Dean's List in every year. Congratulations, Matthew. The winner of the Haskane School of Business Silver Medallion in Energy Management is Jason Lowe. The winner of the Silver Medallion in Entrepreneurship and Innovation is Stephanie Ann Thompson. The winner of the Silver Medallion in Business General is Jeremy Corbin Wu. The winner of the Silver Medallion in Human Resources and Organizational Dynamics is Caitlin Sardinia.
The winner of the Silver Medallion in Management Information Systems is Riley Truman. The winner of the Silver Medallion in Marketing is Laura Mary Dixon. The winner of the Silver Medallion in Operations Management is Ashley Fittick. The winner of the Silver Medallion in Petroleum Land Management is Rebecca Histed. And the winner of the silver medallion in risk management and insurance is Christine Tui. Our final award today is the University of Calgary President's Award for Excellence in Student Leadership. Established in 2008, the President's Award for Excellence in Student Leadership is the highest honor a graduating student can achieve in recognition for combining excellent academic achievement with outstanding leadership on campus. Eminent Chancellor, President Cannon, I would like to present Mark Lee for a President's Award for Excellence in Student Leadership. He is graduating today with a Bachelor of Arts, First Class Honours in Philosophy, and a Bachelor of Commerce in Finance with distinction. Fascinated by complex global issues, Mark wrote a paper examining political solutions to eradicate global poverty that was recognized for its innovative research contribution and was presented widely at international conferences. Mark has also represented the university in various business competitions across North America, winning first place in Canada's nationwide premier business competition. As a member of the Dino's varsity track and the field team, Mark captured back-to-back -back gold medals in the Junior Men's Alberta Cross Country Championships and was also a three-time recipient of the CIS Academic All-Canadian Award. Mark was also a coach for the Dino's Youth Athletics Program, a volunteer for the Centre for Affordable Water Sanitation and Technology and a member of the Scholars Academy. Graduates, colleagues, family and friends, please join me in congratulating Mark Lee for this year's recipient of a President's Award for Excellence in Student Leadership. Ladies and gentlemen, families and friends who have come from far and wide, thank you 
for attending this convocation ceremony and supporting our graduates. What a pleasure it's been for me, and I'm sure for you as well, to see these accomplished women and men cross our stage. Thank you to our esteemed faculties, uh, the Haskane School of Business and the Faculty of Graduate Studies. To our honorary degree recipient, Dr. Victor Buffalo, congratulations. And thank you, Victor, for your thoughtful address. You are an inspiration. Congratulations to our medal winners again from the Haskane School of Business, Matthew, Jason, Stephanie, Jeremy, Caitlin, Riley, Laura, Ashley, Rebecca, Christine, and Mark. Thank you to our orator, Aretha Van Herk, for your stirring citation for Dr. Buffalo. Aretha, your dedication and hard work to this university does not go unnoticed. Spring convocation wouldn't be the same if it weren't for the music to Alf Miller, our piper, the University of Calgary String Quartet under the direction of Edmund Agopian, and our vocalist Gretchen Castronuova, along with trumpeter Richard Schultz. Thank you all. A special thank you to our marshals, Glenn and George, you are my heroes. Uh, thank you to our ushers, the video and sound team uh, in Com Media, and all the staff and volunteers who have worked so hard behind the scenes to make today's convocation ceremony unfold so smoothly. Thank you. To our graduates, today is a day of celebration, so go out and take pictures and photos with your family and, and friends, cherish the memories that you've made along the way, and party hardy this evening. <laughs> you've done it. You are University of Calgary graduates, a distinction that you will carry with you for the rest of your lives. I'm proud to be an alumnus of the University of Calgary and an honor to now be associated with you as fellow alumni. I declare this convocation closed. Please stand for the departure of our processions. Thank you.